Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn about what is accept operator in SQL Server. So accept operator uh, is uh, the operator we can use uh, to get all the distinct records uh, from the first select query or result set uh, which are not present in second select query or the result set. So basically we are comparing two result sets uh, and we want to get uh, all the distinct records uh, from the first result set so we can use accept operator in those cases to use accept operator there are two things we need to remember first of all the number of columns should be the same in both result set and the second part is the data type of those columns should be compatible so let's go to SSMS and perform a demo and see how we can use this operator now here what I have I have one table called dbo customer underscore as uh, and I have ID first name last name and age and then uh, I have another table dbo dot customer underscore na and I have ID first name last name and age as well and then uh, I'm inserting four records uh, in the first table uh, first uh, we have a uh, one Amir Shahzad and uh, we have age 34 then we have Raza and this uh, and I am inserting uh, duplicate records here in this table next uh, I'm inserting two records uh, here in the customer NA table and uh, that has a uh, Amir Shahzad and uh, John Smith so if you notice here we have Amir Shahzad uh, common uh, in both of the tables uh, and also one record is duplicate record in the first uh, table so let's insert these records uh, in the table and uh, run this statement so four records are inserted for the first and then two records are inserted for the second let's run uh, this select queries and see so now we have uh, the records uh, uh, in the customer AS and customer NA now suppose uh, we want to find all the distinct records from table customer underscore as which are not present in customer underscore na so we can use simply accept operator here in this case if we want to take a look what we have here we have Amir here and we also have Amir in the first result set so this record should be ignored so we should be getting only the records which are not present in the second data set so that is a two and four but there are two fours so as we see that the record for Sukhjit Singh is happening as a duplicate record in the first result set so if when we use the accept operator it is going to return us only the distinct records from the first result set and also make sure those results or the record does not exist in the second result set so let's run this one and see what we get so as you can see that we got the Raza that's the second record and we got only one record for Sukhjit let me print all of them all of them together so you can see let me remove the accept from here now if we run uh, the whole thing so first we are just running the select queries uh, and then the last query is uh, the, with the accept operator so here th this is our first result set and th this is our second result set so accept uh, return us only the records which are not in the second result set uh, such as uh, uh, number two record Raza that's not in the second result set here and also Sukhjit is not here but it made sure it is returning us only one record from the duplicator so some people say okay it returns us all the record from the left query or the result set so you can call this one the first query you can call it left or you can call it the first query so it returns you the distinct records 
from the first query or the left query which does not exist in the second query or your right query so that's how that's how you will be using accept one more thing you as you see that we use asterisk here so you can use it as long as the number of columns are matching so if you are not interested you can use the any column uh, that are required so we can use id we can use first name and uh, if we are making just comparison between first id and first name the column names uh, doesn't really matter so let's run this one we will get the same results as you see we got two results the same ones and uh, suppose uh, i have used uh, this query if i'm using this one let me see as customer id now select asterisk from i'm using this one as a drived table so if you see i'm getting all these records so i got customer id and first name i can also call this one as f name so now even uh, column names are not matching at all still uh, we can use the accept operator so i have uh, this one as a drived query and this one directly coming from the other table and the column name does not match so this one is returning us a customer id i can actually use uh, let me write it down here so we don't get confused about that and here we have f name so now if you run this one you have a customer id and first name then here we have id and complete first name instead of f name so if i run this one you will see the heading of a first query will be returned as a column names so we have that uh, as a column name and uh, this column name doesn't really matter as long as uh, uh, the data type of these columns are matching and number of columns are uh, same so here we have two columns and also here we have uh, two columns so that's how accept work and but if you are interested to get all the records from table a which does not exist in the table b and you want to get everything even duplicate and all that there are multiple ways you can do it you can use left un you can use not exist so there are multiple ways we can use it i will show you in different videos how you can get all those records but here what we learn accept operator that returns us distinct records from the first result set which does not exist in the second result set thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video